Hey y'all, Irix guy here, and a lot of people have asked, they said, if you could only own one drone, which drone would it be? And on the time of posting this, it is April 2016, the Phantom 4 is without a doubt my favorite drone on the market today. And it's, uh, yeah, it is a little bit pricey, and it's hard for me to, uh, to recommend the Phantom 4 over the Phantom 3 Professional. But if you've already got a Phantom 3 Pro, I'd, I would strongly encourage you to probably save your money and not upgrade but if you don't have a drone I would definitely go uh, with the Phantom 4 because it is in my opinion the best drone platform on the market today silky smooth video um, the gimbal on the Phantom 4 is greatly improved over the uh, previous uh, Phantom 3 professional and I'm gonna take it out here I'm I'm out in the field so I don't uh, <laughs> I don't have my viewfinder so yeah, I was going to make sure you're on. I know this is cheesy, but... And, you know, I could prop my phone up on my tripod. That would probably solve the issue. I just don't think intelligently sometimes. Um, well, let's forget about that. That's not going to work that well. So I'll just stand here. But the, um, yeah, the gimbal is greatly improved. And when you look at the underbody of it, it's... Uh, you can see it's all pretty much internalized. You don't have those little spongy things that you had on the uh, on the previous Phantom 3 Professional. Just very, very uh, well made. It's got the camera guard on it right now. That's what that plastic thing is because when you're traveling with it, you want to have that on. And this is just the case that comes with the Phantom 4. I typically use a waterproof and ruggedized case. But yeah, the overall construction of the body, uh, where the SD, where the micro SD card goes in right there on the side, uh, that's greatly improved the firmware updates do it all through the app on the phone and during that process i have to connect a cable that was included with it so that's greatly improved the way that the propellers pop on and off drastically improved i mean it just it you push them down and you twist i can't do it one-handed but uh i mean i could if it was sitting on the table but um yeah it's just a greatly improved experience there just checking to make sure we're still on film and we are here um, the uh, I still use the same iPod touch to fly it sometimes if I'm out and I've only got my my cell phone my iPhone 6 plus I'll use that but most of the time I'll use this iPod touch you can find it the drone the case the batteries the other accessories check the link within this video's description you can find it all there but yeah I mean if you if you don't have a drone again I would strongly encourage people to consider this uh, this is one of my favorite uh, well, it is my favorite drone on the on the market at the time of posting this. So, yeah, just really good 4K video quality. Um, one thing I was slightly disappointed about is that although it, the gimbal's more smooth, it's, uh, you know, I was expecting more of a camera upgrade. I was hoping they would put a 360 degree camera on this. And when I say 360 degree, I don't mean something like an Inspire where it spins around. I mean an actual a camera that's filming so that you can upload to YouTube or wherever in 360 degree format. So that would be really cool. Why they didn't include that, I don't know. My speculation leads me to believe that DJI is probably gonna release several refreshes of the Phantom 4, possibly even new versions of the Phantom 4 when, when GoPro Karma comes out. Because I think GoPro Karma, GoPro Karma, GoPro's drone, I think that's really got DJI shaking in their boots. So they're kind of waiting to see this is speculation. They're waiting to see what Go, GoPro Karma brings to the table, and then they're going to try to meet or exceed those specs. So yeah, just really good stuff. But again, if I was only going to have one drone, and I was going to get the best drone on the market at the time of posting this video, again, it's always changing. This is the drone I would get. And check the link within this video's description, because like I said, you can find it, the accessories, and much more there, tutorials. And if you don't find it, if you can't find it there within this video's description, just ask and I'll try to find links for you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to youtube.com forward slash irixguy. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, irixguy here. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm an independent channel, and it's viewers like you that help me to continue to grow. I appreciate your viewership, and y'all have a good day.